Gunmen in dark suits open fire as diners duck for cover. Now all signs point to terrorism after a deadly night in Tel Aviv. Good evening, everyone. I'm Maurice Dubois. Christine is off. CBS 2's Tony Aiello following this developing story live in our newsroom now with the very latest. Tony. Maurice, this happened at a Tel Aviv culinary hotspot, the Serona Market. A bartender at the Max Brenner restaurant says two young men ordered dessert, then opened fire. Surveillance video shows the panic as customers and staff scrambled for safety. Another angle shows the two young gunmen, Palestinians, said to be cousins, dressed in black suits with skinny black ties, firing handguns. Both are in custody. This video is said to show a security officer firing at a suspect as he tried to flee. A patron at the restaurant took this picture of a gun left behind. Within minutes, hundreds of first responders were at the scene. From the 10 patients that uh, we have accepted, uh, four are dead, uh, four others have uh, uh, moderately to severe wounds, but they are stable and uh, there's no danger for their lives, and two are in uh, very easy condition. Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu visited the scene shortly after returning to Israel from a trip to Russia. The popular market long the subject of security concerns. In April, a police official asked that the Serona market be closed for lax security. But managers promised to address concerns and the hot spot stayed open. And now it's the latest target of a wave of Palestinian assaults. Shootings, stabbings, and vehicular assaults have killed 31 Israelis and two visiting Americans. Americans in the last eight months. Tonight, the Hamas terror group says Israel can expect more attacks during the Muslim month of Ramadan. Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu is vowing, quote, a series of offensive and defensive steps in response to the attack. Live in the newsroom, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Tony, 